What is up, Rivals? Welcome back to yet another episode of Rival Kingdoms. My name is Sawchasm. Today, we are going over a Stronghold 4 base design for all you Stronghold 4 base owners out there. Also, you Stronghold 3, 2, and 1 base owners who are currently working to get Stronghold 4. You're doing your homework in advance. I like that. I appreciate that. Also, feel free to tweet me your own base designs for me to rate them at Sawchasm on Twitter. And with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, so once you get to Stronghold 4 and you get some buildings placed down, all the buildings that you are available, the new buildings to build in Stronghold 4, this is where you want to start focusing on defense and cleaning up your base. So what I'm going to do now is start making a basic base defense for you guys who just hit Stronghold 4 and before you're ready to upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so here is the Stronghold 4 base design. Now, a couple things I want to go over. First, let's get a general overview of it. Okay, so you see it nice and pretty, all that. And the general purpose of this, there's a couple of different things that I really want to accomplish with this base design. So first of all, we're protecting our catapult and our spell tower. These are our two main defenses at this point. Of course, the watchtowers are also strong, but in my opinion, the catapult and the spell tower early on are really what are going to be doing the most damage, the bulk of our damage. So we're gonna try to protect those as much as possible. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there's no way to protect yourself from every single attack, especially at this stronghold. So I don't have everything grouped in one place. You know, I don't have our all our gold in one place. So if someone's looking for gold, it's not like, oh, here's a big group of gold that you can get. I don't have all the buildings that give mana in one place. You see, I spread out our true portals a little bit. And also one thing to note, I did buy some more builders, but I spread them across the map. This is an option. It's not uh, important. It's not that important, but it can be useful if they are low on time and probably can to get to all those. Of course, it's very situational. But anyway, we're trying to protect our main defenses over here. And of course, we do have our stronghold in the center being protected by everything with these double walls. You want to kind of place them in a way that will give you the best bang for your buck. So you see, I have the wall here. I could move it in here and it will still connect. It will still be a wall, form a wall, because in case you guys don't know, they're not actually walls. They're just corners of castles, walls. And if you place them together, then they become an actual wall. So you could place it right next to it, but then you're not taking full advantage of it. You're not getting that double wall effect that we get if we spread them out a little bit more and create these nice little hexagonal shapes. I think I just made that word up. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this base design video. I hope it helped you, especially if you're at Stronghold 4 or anywhere near. Don't forget to leave your feedback on this base down below. And if you have your own base design you'd like me to check out, possibly review in a future video, don't forget to tweet it to me at Slawchasm. Thanks for liking and commenting. With that said, thanks for watching. Peace!